That day I learned that I was serving the wrong warlord. Purvis Dominey. Defend the walls! The day that I met the Blackstone Legion. And Holden Cross. Come out! Dominey! It doesn't have to be like this! Keep them off the walls! My lord! Ugh. Break it down! Break it down! All right, here we go. This is obviously different from the usual For Honor content that comes out on this channel, but I need a little bit of a break from the player versus player side of things, the PvP. So we're going to do a little bit of PvE. That is Papa versus Echo. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a great game. I've played it for 250 hours thus far, and after all that time dealing with all the good and the bad of, of the whole multiplayer experience, I need a fucking break, man. I need a break. I'm, I'm, I'm just tired of getting parried now. If, if I get parried by any of these enemies, I'm going to be very upset. But I'm just tired of getting parried. So, let's do it. We're playing on realistic difficulty. And even though we're playing on realistic difficulty, the game still wants me to do the tutorial. Which is kind of cool. Oh, they're teaching me how to change my guard. So, that's pretty nice. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's no way to actually turn it off. But, you know, that's okay. Oh, hey, come on. There you go. I blocked from the top, now I have to block from the right two times. And a, qu a question that I've, I've seen a lot on, on Reddit and, and other forums is, is For Honor worth it just for the single player? And, that, and that's, that's something that's very objective, and I suppose that's a good thing that we can talk about. I've always felt like, yes, it is, but you gotta understand that this game is a little bit silly, right? The, the story is not some some Shakespearean stuff. Are they teaching me my combos? They are teaching me my combos. Oh, they want me to hit him with a heavy attack. I'll do that. A new mission objective. I guess I have to kill him. Oh, I have to kill him. All right. Nope, he blocked it. But yeah, you know, it, the, the story for this game is not the greatest story in the world. It's not some Shakespearean drama. It's 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 very basic and and even even the combat in in the story mode can seem a little bit tired. I mean, we'll see as we go on how it gets more difficult. I haven't played it on realistic yet, but Yeah, they're letting me do stuff now. Mm, get out of here. But uh but yeah, you know, it but if you go into this game you know, buying it as, as a full $60 price tag and accepting that it's kind of corny and it's kind of, like, really basic and, and cliche, then you can have a lot of fun with it, right? Because if, if you've never played the story mode for this game, you're very quickly going to learn that it is basically a dumb action movie set in a medieval setting. Mm, throw him into the other guy. Top heavy. And you can, I mean, you know, and I'm obviously not playing very optimally right now because I'm, I'm talking while I play, and that's part of the reason why I usually don't do that. But, you know, th th that dumb action movie stuff is kind of fun. And if you don't take it too seriously, it's, it's actually a pretty good game, you know? Like, I, I went into it, you know, just thinking, oh, the story might be kind of cool, and hey, I got a stalwart banner that I can use to heal myself. It's a glorified tutorial, right? But it's a well-made glorified tutorial, which is, I, I can get behind that. Hey, we got an objective. Okay, killing minions. Now, fun fact, you can still kill minions even when you're locked on. But, and sometimes, for, for certain characters, I find that to be more effective, but the warden, he's pretty good at doing that. But yeah, you know, it's, it's a dumb action movie. And if you accept it, like, you don't go to see Transformers expecting them to teach you some new things about life and, and philosophy. You know, you go to watch people get dropped off of walls, right? That, that's what you go to see. And I guess I should shut up because, oh, nope, it's not a cutscene. You know, but yeah. 
And 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 I can appreciate that. So our new objective is to kill the archers. So I gotta find them. I gotta go run over there. But on a different note, I I can't stand playing games or buying games rather that don't have a single player component. Which is why I'm I'm very happy that For Honor came with a single player and a multiplayer. Because if it didn't, I would. F Ooh, he actually hit me. Oh gosh, do I actually have to? I actually have to throw you against the wall to finish you off? There we go. What you know about that shoulder bash? Mm. Top heavy. Execution. Boom. It's beautiful. But yeah, I, I, I hate buying games that don't have a multiplayer component at all. And the fact that For Honor had... I mean, I, I said it wrong. I hate buying games that don't have a single player and a multiplayer component if they have a full price tag like overwatch I, I i bought that when it first came out and i played it for may, maybe a hundred hours or so hey we found some steel and i played overwatch for maybe a hundred hours but even though i got my money's worth because i did put time into it i didn't i i still feel like i wasted my money because i was never truly engrossed in in the game universe the Iron Legion is made up of many smaller legions. The Lion was the symbol of the Regal Legion. They were strong once. Now they have fallen to Blackstone might. The fall of the last sanctuary in Ashfeld. A thousand years have passed since then. Our ancestors held out for six years against a hundred thousand desperate, starving warriors. Or... So the story goes. So right, I, I I bought Overwatch when it first came out, and I always felt like I wasted my money, even though I got the time. You know, I I I, I played it for a certain amount of hours, so the, the purchase was just instantly made justifiable. But I never got these little bits and pieces of lore. I never really felt engrossed in the universe. It never felt like a full experience the way For Honor has felt like a full experience for me. The Iron Legion has a habit of mounting warden statues in front of doors. But they are hypocrites. The oaths of a warden reach far beyond what any common Legion warrior can live up to. You know, because that stuff, it, it makes it feel real. And of course, Overwatch, you know, when you start up a multiplayer mission or whatever, there, there's little bits of dialogue between the characters. Like if you play Genji on on Hanamura or whatever I think that's the right map he says something about how he used to play in the arcades when when I was just a boy I used to play in the arcade all the time and I was totally a racist Japanese voice impression but who cares right I mean overwatch in its own right in, in its own way is cultural appropriation right I mean it's just a bunch of different ethnic groups I mean sure maybe it is uh, a, a social justice warrior video game or, or maybe it's just secretly very well disguised cultural appropriation. I don't know. I don't know what I'm getting at here, but uh, we've made it to a new objective, so let's watch this cool cut. Look at this man D just going full bullet time against these arrows. Mm. The warden is very skilled indeed. <laughs> I mean, that right there, if you didn't believe this was a dumb action movie, this man just cut the wire on a catapult, and it killed a bunch of archers. Uh-oh, there's a hole in the wall. Looks like we've got to get back down there, but we just made it to the top. Okay, let's go. And say, so, yeah, you know, is ooh, look at that. You know, so so even though the the, the multiplayer is is it was great. Oh, come on, come on, warden. Let's play it like the multiplayer. I'll wait for you to attack. Oh, all right, fuck it. <laughs> um, but you know, it, even though the, the multiplayer of Overwatch is great, th there is it, it'll always feel like an incomplete package to me because it doesn't have something to, to invest me into the world. And I wonder if it's ever gonna get to a point where the the enemies can guard break because the way it is now, they aren't gonna last very long. All right, let's. Uh, I, th I think we've made it to the to the final boss battle. 
Uh, hold the castle from the invader. Oh no, there's still more invaders coming through the hole. Ugh. You know, and 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 that's always something though that 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 I, I feel like gets brought up a lot is is the, the value of a game. Is it valuable based on the number of hours you get into it, or is it valuable because of because of just the the raw enjoyment or or you know the, the, there's so many variables okay come outside guy we're, we're yeah. <clears throat> throw him into the minions because it's cool uh, but yeah you know it, it's how, how do you value whether or not you got your money's worth in the game and there we go we got the cutscene so let's uh let's enjoy this Davini parting the seas like Moses. These warriors don't have to die. Trial by combat. Right now. What? Fight you? That's not a trial. That's an execution. Then fight my second. I think all the characters talk with their helmets on to save money on animation. You! You will be my second. That moment when you oh, realize yeah. Dobbin is a pussy. I shouldn't say pussy nowadays, right? Because it's kind of offensive. It would be a slaughter. You know. Let's do this. Boss fight. Dumb action movie. Kicks into seventh gear. It's about to get serious. Alright. Ooh. He, oh, he's going for it. He's going for it. But he's not ready. Still not dodging the vortex, though. Oh. All right, what are you gonna do? We'll play it like the multiplayer. Get that shit out of here. <laughs> and th th that's what I'm tired of in the multiplayer. I'm tired of whenever I go for an attack, I'm tired of getting parried. I'm, I'm just, oh, he's still swinging. Stop it, man. Let your stamina come back. But you know, I'm, I'm just so sick of it. I'm, I'm so tired of it. I just need, I, I need a break because I'm decent at the game, you know. I'm 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 pretty good at it, so I, I can parry light attacks is what I'm getting at. But sometimes I just want to swing for the fences, and I feel like I can't do that at at whatever matchmaking bracket that I'm in. Swinging for the fences does nothing. Ooh, okay, warden. Okay, buddy. Stop it. Just let me win. I just wish you would just let me win. You know that would be great. Ow. You know, but but and and that's that's probably the only real problem in the game is that there is that whole defensive meta thing where it's better to defend than it is to attack, right? I, like I could win every single fight in For Honor just by waiting until somebody swings at me and then getting a parry or getting a block or whatever, and then I would never lose. I would never lose. But nobody, nobody wants to do that. You know what I do want to do? I want to get a crushing counter strike on this guy. Attack me from the top. Come on. Do it. Do it. I missed it. Come on. Do it. Do it. I dare you. Come on. There you go. Nope. Alright, let's just let's alright, this is obviously getting silly, so let's just end it. <laughs> I fucked it up. Whatever. I guess now you guys know that I suck at this game. You know, if you didn't, if I mean, a lot of people have already told me that I suck at this game. So if that wasn't clear before, it's blatantly clear now that you're getting the live gameplay, the in the moment action. You get to see all the mistakes that I make. You get to see all of the the bad stuff. So there we go. We beat the first level, and we get another cutscene. We were still at their mercy. Hold my beer. I need to talk to this guy. It will not do for a knight of the Blackstone Legion to be defeated by a common mercenary. The melodrama is so serious. Neil.
For valor in battle, for honor and service, I, Holden Cross, raise you. Stand, Knight of the Blackstone Legion. I mean, say what you will about Ubisoft. They know how to animate fire really well. We're finished here. Come on. That was how I joined the Blackstone Legion. It's a little bit messed up that he didn't give his friend his sword back. I don't know if the warden is friends with Dobbany, but I feel like in that moment, he could be like, you know what, you, you can have the sword back. Like, I, I don't actually need it. I get why that whole exchange happened, but you, you can have the sword back. It's fine. Uh, and there we go. So we beat the first mission, and that was pretty cool. We got a, a new emblem background. We got some steel. We got some story experience. I think that's what that is. All right, so there we go. And on that note, I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, the name of the game is For Honor. The name of the channel is I Blue Air JGR Gaming for Comedy. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.